what's up beautiful people welcome back to the canada info hub channel my name is wolo and i live in winnipeg manitoba canada how are you doing how are you preparing for the christmas how is preparation going i in fact i miss home seriously i miss home anyway before i talk about missing home let me talk about what what i want to share yeah so my name is wolo and i live in winnipeg manitoba canada and i love to talk about everything canada including immigrating to canada so this is the 12 days to christmas series if you watched my video yesterday thumbs up to you i hope you give me thumbs up i'm requesting that you give me another thumbs up today so smash the like button destroy the like button but don't destroy your phone anyway um for today's video i'll be talking about the provinces to watch out for for 2021 immigration because we have to project based on what has happened this year this year was you know <laughs> this year was a struggle for all of us but we are grateful that we are alive so based on that um, i'm doing this video for those who plan to immigrate to canada and your target is 2021 there are a lot of people who might not come in through the normal express entry so the next option is a provincial nomination and i'll have to talk about those options so that you are aware of them and start preparing yourself towards them for 2021 for provinces that you should watch out for um number one is ontario they give provincial nomination to those who are the express entry pool you need to have a very good comprehensive ranking score in the express entry pool to get a provincial nomination from ontario but if you have written the french language exams that's the tef or the tcf any of them and you have good scores in the express entry pool let's say 40 and above you are likely to get a provincial nomination and there is no restriction to the occupation so that is one province you should target if you're a tech person also target that province if you have checked the occupation in demand list also target ontario especially if you know that you cannot meet the very high scores of express entry but anyway the scores have been low these days uh, the last two draws we had people who had 469 um, getting invitation to apply we don't know if it's going to continue in the same trend for next year because lots of people are now keen into learning french to boost their comprehensive ranking scores so before i talk about talk too much about ontario just target Ontario as one province to get a provincial nomination from. The second province you should target is Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan has been very good this year. A lot of people got provincial nominations from Saskatchewan. They've been very generous. They've not added the factor of French people getting 10 points to get a provincial nomination from Saskatchewan, which means that the draw scores will be high for Saskatchewan. So if you're not learning French, go and learn French. I talked about French for Ontario. I'm not talking about French for Saskatchewan. So go learn French if you want to get a provincial nomination from Saskatchewan. And that, that reminds me, I announced on the um, Instagram page that if you need a French tutor, contact me. It's open to those on this channel as well. So if you need a French tutor, contact me so that I can link you up with a tutor. Limited slots are available, just limited, very limited slots. And yeah, so that's by the way. So target Saskatchewan for your provincial nomination. The third province I would like you to target, especially if you have French language scores as well, is New Brunswick. You don't need to feel anything, just be in the express entry pool. And as long as you have the French scores and your occupation is actually needed, they will give you a notification of interest in your profile and then you get a provincial nomination from New Brunswick. So that's the third province you should target. Although they don't announce the number of people they are inviting, but from time to time they just give people provincial nomination. Um, notification of interest in their express entry profile the fourth province you should target is nova scotia labor market priorities when i say target i'm not saying you should go and check if they have a place where you can put in your application and then they will contact you no nova scotia does not have that you have to be in the express entry pool then they can contact you and they also have their occupation in demand as well i talked about nova scotia that they have closed like two pathways but there's this pathway this labor market priorities i know they've given a notification of interest to software developers i know they've given to um some other occupations they did a draw recently but they didn't mention which occupations they gave notification of interest to the condition was that you must have a job offer in nova scotia but target this particular pathway and you might be lucky you might get a notification of interest 
you know express entry profile so three out of these four provinces you need to actually have an express entry profile created you can't just run away from it you need to have an express entry profile before you can get a nomination and that is ontario new brunswick and nova scotia uh, for saskatchewan you can go and create a profile on their saskatchewan web page but these provinces you need to have an express entry profile the fifth province i would have said you should watch out for is actually manitoba the whole of this year manitoba has been focusing on strategic recruitment initiative and as we all know manitoba is very big on adaptability you must have a relative or a friend living here to support your application for you to get a nomination and since july 2019 they passed that pathway they focus only on strategic recruitment initiative so i am hoping please i am hoping i am hoping that they might reopen the pathway where you can have family members and friends support people's application from outside canada so i'm hoping that this particular province will open up to people from outside canada the other provinces like British Columbia, British Columbia, for all of their pathways, you need a job offer. For Alberta as well, they are only focusing on people within Alberta. I am not so sure if they will change the rule concerning people from outside Canada, but for now, Alberta is focusing on people only in Canada. Prince Edward Island is a funny province. They focus on people who already have job offers in Prince Edward Island, except for certain critical occupations and if your occupation is not a critical occupation it might be difficult for you to get a job offer from prince edward island so they are focusing on people who have critical occupations and are already living in prince edward island um the next province to target is newfoundland and labrador so yes i mentioned it i've done the video before that newfoundland and labrador will be starting a new pathway january 2nd 2021 so watch out for that as well um yeah so these provinces just watch out for them for the territories like yukon nunavut and northwest territories their immigration pathway requires most times a job offer first of all before you can even get um a provincial nomination yukon goes to the express entry pool to search for people especially if they need your skill so if you're in the express entry um well you can also target yukon as well so that's the information I want to share today. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Give me thumbs up and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.